11 comma rules introductory elements welcome introductory elements rule number one use a comma to set off a mild exclamation such as well o or why also words like yes and no are also set by commas while rule number two says use a comma after an introductory participle phrase. These phrases will begin or end with a past or current tense word. A quick example of these is I am walking and I walked. Rule number one examples well I guess so and yes I heard you. The words well and yes are introductory words so these sentences follow rule number one replacing a comma after each of these words. A quick reminder, participle phrases begin and end with past or present tense. Exhausted, the team took a break. The word exhausted is a participle. Matter of fact, it's a past participle. Therefore, it follows rule number two by putting a comma after the word exhausted. Rule number three. Use a comma after two or more introductory prep prepositional phrases or after a long one. Rule number four. Use a comma after an introductory adverb clause. In the secret chamber called the Crystal Keep, the hero found the missing map. Notice the long prepositional phrase in the after I had locked the car door I remembered that the keys were still in the ignition good thing I had my spare key with me if I hadn't I would be walking home oh. I've all been waiting for us so I'm going to show you how interrupters work Interrupters have a few rules. Rule number one is all non-essential positives and positive phrases are set up by commas. The positives are a noun or pronoun placed besides an verb, bound or pronoun to identify or describe it, while the phrase has the uh, positive and its modifiers. The non-essential just adds information that is not really necessary to the meaning of the sentence. Rule number two is words are used in direct address are set up by commas. And of course, rule number three Parenthetical expressions are set up by commas. Parenthetical is a side remark that adds information or shows a relationship between sides. Tyler, my oldest nephew, plays the accordion as an example of the first rule. My oldest nephew is set away by commas because it's not necessarily important to know in this sentence. Another example is, is that he, the young hair man with the red hair? Both are examples of non-essentials. The second rule is used to address certain people or things in the sentence, such as, Mom, have you called Miss Johnson yet? And your painting, Andy, is very original. Commonly used parenthetical expressions. After all, at any rate, by the way, consequently, for example, for instance, however, I believe, incidentally, in fact, in general, in the first place, meanwhile, moreover, naturally, nevertheless, of course, on the contrary, on the other hand, that is, therefore. Conventional uses. Rule number one. Use a comma to separate items in dates and addresses. Do not use them to set off the month from the day, the day from the month, the month from the year, house number from the street name, state abbreviation from the zip code, and items joined by prepositions. Rule number two. Use a comma after salutation of a personal letter and closing of any letter. Rule number three. Use a comma to set off the title such as junior and sir or MD. 
that follows the person's name. On Monday, December 3rd, 2007, I bought my pet parakeet. This is an example of using commas to separate dates. Here are examples of the salutation rule. Remember, for business letters, use a colon. Here is an example of the comma rule for titles. Isaiah Walker Sr. makes animated films. Do not use unnecessary commas.